everybody, Cheryl here. I'm going to be making a mix. So this is a mix with me video. So, <laughs> um, this is going to be a mix. I'm basing it on these cute little alloys. Um, it's Winnie the Pooh and then a bumblebee. So it's kind of a simple mix because it, he's, you know, like an orangey yellow and um, red. Um, so it's going to be kind of simple. I was going to use a base of his color, like a dandelion, but then I decided I'm going to just stick with iridescent. So the first thing I'm going to add, and I'm making enough uh, here so I can put it in my store. So this is um, just an iridescent glitter I'm going to use as a base. And again, I really don't do measurements because... I make my mixes a lot like how I cook. I don't use recipes. Um, I just, I it's all in my head and it's all by just what I, I think is right. So I don't, I don't do measurements. I'm, I apologize about that. So anyway, I'm just gonna do a base of this really pretty iridescent and then um, I'm using this iridescent, uh, really super fine. Um, 008 for some more sparkle. So this is going to be the base color. And then I'm going to add some Winnie the Pooh colors to it. So, alrighty, let's get started. So, all right, he, I am going to add, first of all, some of this. Move everything out of my way. This is um, Martha Stewart Lemon Drop tinsel. I'm adding that. And these are just so slow, so I'm going to just do this. Um, then I'm going to add, I'm going to stick with those colors right now. Um, this is again Martha Stewart Lemon Drop. This is Mylar. Probably just finish this bottle off. Alrighty. Um, and then I'm going to add some Recollections Papaya um, Caviar Beads. And this is all kind of sticking with the color of Winnie the Pooh. I'm going to add, I have some of these, uh, what are these, the larger little hexes that are kind of yellow. I'm just using them up. I found them in my stash, so I'm just using them up. Put those in there. They're kind of the same color. Um, this is crushed shell. Um, I'm going to put some of that in there, a little in each, not that much. And then this color, Crushed Shell, which is another kind of like a, not really orange, but like a papaya. Um, and that's the Crushed crush Shell. Just to give it a little bit of a contrast. I don't want it all like looking alike, <laughs> but I don't want it too, too crazy either. Um, I'm going to add some of these Martha Stewart and Lemon Drop hearts. I think those would be adorable in there. These are so pretty when the sun hits them, when they're encapsulated um, in the nail. These are just, they really pop. These um, iridescent hearts are just really pretty. So let's see here. Put some of that in there. And I'm just kind of sticking with these colors right now before I start adding other colors. Um, I'm going to add some of my dandelion hexagons, the two MMs. So I'm going to add some of that. And once I get all these same colors in, then I'm going to stir it up and add some, some contrast. So these are more of a matte with a pearl. 
So, I mean, everything I've already so, so far put in there has been iridescent, so I wanted to have a little bit of contrast. Um, and then I have the 2MM Mellow Yellow Hexies. I'm going to put some of those in there. <clears throat> Just to kind of give it a different kind of a pop. And then, let's see here. Oh, I have some of these, um, these hollowed out hearts. I have them in like a, this one here. It's kind of a light peachy orange and then a yellow. So I'm gonna put a few of each of those colors in there. And there's a red one. I wanna get that out. Oh, I got another red one in there. Let's get that out of there. Don't want that. Or, okay, got that out of there. And then um, the yellow, holo, holo, hollowed out hearts. So we got some yellow ones and some, I guess they're like a peachy. And then they got the smaller hearts in there. So I thought those would be really cute. So, all right, I'm going to give this a little bit of a stir before I start adding some other colors to this. And then um, for you ladies who have followed through, watched my whole video, um, if you really like this mix, um, I'm going to give one of them away. So with the little alloys, that I am just absolutely loving these. I love them. I'll pull them out and show them better at the end of the video. The little Winnie the Pooh and then the Bumblebee. But, all right, here it is so far with the base color. Um, I am going to add some. Uh, this is the matte dandelion micro slices. These are the super, super tiny little micro slices. I'm going to add these. Um because he's, he's a fluffy little guy, so I thought this would be perfect, because if you look at it, does it not look like a teddy bear? It just looks like a little stuffed animal. And then it'll give some, some contrast on the nail um, where it looks... Um, I don't want to put too much of this in, because it will overpower. But it'll be just enough to make it look like a little teddy bear, so I love that. Um, I put the, oh, I put the dandelion hexes in. I'm going to put some of these dandelion, um, um, squares. Not very many of them. I just, you know, it gives it a few extra little shapes in there. So you have, like, squares and hexes and shreds and hearts and just get a little bit, um, a little bit of extra stuff in there. So, alrighty. Let me see how that looks because I may need to add some more of those micro shreds. I don't know though. I think I, I think we're good. So you don't want the micro shreds to overpower. So there it is so far. It's super pretty. Um, alrighty, now time to add some extra stuff here. These, I just had a few of these laying around. These are like teardrops or flower petals. Um, they're like an orangey color. I'm going to add some of those, or the rest of these. I don't have there very many, so I'm going to put some of these in here just, again, for some little extra shape, contrast, or whatever. And then the color. So, and I think it's appropriate, you know, little flower petals. Um, he has like a red t-shirt on, so I want to put some red in here, but I don't want to, you know, overkill with the red, so um, I'm just going to stir as I do this because I don't know how red is going to look, so I'm going to just see how this goes. So I'm going to put, this is um, Martha Stewart, um, the tinsel, it's candy apple, so... I'm going to put a little bit of this in and just see what happens um, for his red shirt. And let's just see. Tinsel's not going to really kill it too much, but 
once I start putting other red stuff in here, it could get dangerous. <laughs> so right now I'm going to kind of just leave it with that. I like the contrast it gave. It kind of actually brought out some more of the yellow. Um, let me hit this this container because like I said I'm making extra this from to have in my store this is going to be a special edition or limited edition mix because I only I'm only going to have nine of these in my store as a special edition with the alloys so um so I don't have very many of these um I'm going to add some of these red lid off caviar beads they're just these little red you know micro beads the glass ones again for his little t-shirt um, I'm just gonna give it a little mix to see what happens here because I, I don't want to overpower the red but I want enough in there um, I don't know if you could see that. That is so cute. I love it. I love Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> so, alrighty. Um, I'm also going to add, you know, because he's got his little black eyes and stuff. Um, instead of putting black dots in, I love the idea of, of butterflies. So, I'm going to put the black butterflies in there because I just think it would be very appropriate. Um for a Winnie the Pooh mix. Um, so, and I have, you know, these are all available in my store. I have these in other colors, little butterflies. Um, but I thought, you know, how appropriate to put, you know, little butterflies in there. Cause he's, you know, he likes his honey and the little butterflies and bees are all over the place, so. And then I thought the black would be really great for some contrast too. And I just dumped half of those on my table, so uh, let's see how that looks and see if I have to add more. Yeah, I think I'm going to put a little bit more in here. This is going too slow for me. I've, oh, I'm very impatient when it comes to stuff like this. <laughs> I'm just shaking it up. So, alrighty. So here it is. Oh, that turned out really pretty. Let me make sure my camera is focusing. There's my mix. And again, um. If you've watched the whole video, um, thank you so much. I'm going to give away one of these mixes. Just say, enter me. And um, I will do a random drawing um, for the U.S. and Puerto Rico only. Um, and you must be 18 years old. Um, these are the little alloys that come with this mix. These are so cute. I love them. Look at the little Winnie the Pooh. I can't get it to. I don't know if you can see. Ah! And right as it focused, uh, he fell. <laughs> he does not want to be seen. Let's see here. So there's the little Winnie the Pooh and the little Bumblebee alloys. That will come with this mix. Um, and like I said, I, I will have this available in my store. It'll be a limited edition, um, and I only will have nine of these available. So, um, anyway, for those of you, again, just enter me, and uh, yeah, I'll do a random drawing. So, this video is gone, uh, what are we in, 14 minutes? Wow. Okay, um, I'm going to wrap it up. So, again, subscribe, like, comment. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Have a good one. Bye.